Good evening, everyone. Those stories are coming up. But first, we begin with a Quincy man who was found guilty of killing a 12-year-old boy back in March. He now finally knows how long he'll be behind bars. During, during today's sentencing, the judge told Stassan Kreider, quote, you will probably die behind bars. WGM's Jeremy Culver has more. It's been eight months and 24 days since Ray Humphrey Jr. was last seen alive. Now his killer, 20-year-old Stassan Kreider, will spend the next 65 years in prison. Before being sentenced, Stassan Kreider addressed the Humphrey family and said he was sorry. That was something Ray Humphrey Sr. was not expecting. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, I, I'm sorry. You know, just that alone lets me know. I'm the man that killed your son. During the sentencing, Adams County State's Attorney John Barnard reminded the courtroom this is a day for Ray Humphrey Jr. and his family. There's only one day in the entire process when the story of the victim, when the interests of the victim or the victim's family in this case come to the fore. And that's the sentencing day. Humphrey says, though he is glad to see this case come to an end, it doesn't change the impact the case has had on his family. Nothing I do, you know, if it's reaching 10 million people, you know, it'll never, you know, feel the same way of sitting there talking to Ray or just, you know, giving him a hug. Before asking the judge to sentence Kreider to 65 years, Barnard said the courtroom could lay the healing hand of justice on the family. We want to let them know we care, because we do. And, and hopefully the process proves that. Hopefully what we've done to fight our way through the process proves that. Humphrey says though it took the life of his son, he hopes he can spread a message to create change around the world. All human life is important. None of us are better than each other to show the people all around the world that our community could take a tragedy and turn it into a positive. Jeremy Culver, WGEM News, Quincy. Now, you may remember that charges were dropped against the three other Kreider family members accused of covering up the crime. The state's attorney says that that was a strategic move until the murder trial was done. But he says refiling charges is likely, and those cases are currently under evaluation. 